Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me, as always, Alex. How do you How do? How are you? I'm good. You two people might be surprised. If yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It works. If it works, hopefully. This will be our first video podcast. Yep. So congratulations to everyone for seeing our faces. Um, Hi. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, first it was off, a little annoying, but I think I got it to work. I think you get, yeah. We we definitely um, what's the word I'm looking for? And uh, it, I feel like it. No, well, because I feel like I'm Jerry rigging it here. You know the BuzzFeed tip videos <laughs> where they're yeah. like, you can use an egg to wash your hair, whatever garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know what you're talking this about. This is like one of those things. Yeah. Or you're like, oh, use an iPhone to videotape whatever thing you're doing. Hey, I mean, I've seen some YouTubers, man. They'll be vlogging. I mean, vlogging is different com- from vlogging. Of course. But, like, I've seen, like, oh, be, they look like, you know, like, oh, they ha- look like they have a nice camera. But then they they kind of, you you could see the mirror or the, mm. the reflection, and you see all they have is an iPhone. I'm and like, they, got, they got one uh, of them right. sticks. Yeah, the stuffy stick things. Sticks yeah. Where they just walk around like this. Yep. I was in Disney World one time, and mm. I'm walking around with it casually oh yeah he's talking to it i think he was vlogging yeah he looked like a vlogger oh yeah he looked like he was doing it i mean yeah i Alex. mean carly and i we went when we went on the cruise we had the selfie stick that's right yeah yeah, yeah. You, well, yeah you're terrified more... because i wanted i took i put the <laughs> selfie stick across the board thing and then i was like oh god please hope my phone doesn't fall i ballsy yeah wouldn't have done it in a million years but hey i respect it <laughs> yeah right Alex, mm. what do we do again that's right a gaming podcast this is your ev cheesy gaming podcast for the week of the 26th of February, 2020. Yeah. Check us out on all the podcast services every Friday. You can go to YouTube as well every Friday. And you can head over to patreon.com slash Achievers to get everything early. And you're exclusive every month for only a buck. Only a dollar, Alex. Only a dollar. That is... Can you buy anything for a dollar? It's like the garbage bin, like toy in like a um, store. That's only that's like a dollar. I mean, I've seen things for a dollar. You know that you, you remember those little uh, when you walk in Walmart or if you walk in another store, they have those little uh, the, the dispensers. Yeah, with, with the fifty cents or a dollar, and the ring. You go get the ring. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you: Are we worth a cheap? Dollar ring at Walmart. The dollar dispenser ring. I yeah. think I, I think that question answers itself. <laughs> you know what I enjoyed? The little sticky hands when you when you flick it, it like sticks oh, to stuff. Oh god, yes. Yeah, I don't know why. You have a perfect window of about two hours to enjoy that toy. Oh yeah, and then it gets just destroyed. And then it's disgusting. Yep. You've picked up God knows what I'm How many thing. times I try to save it in the little thing that it comes in? I'm like, oh I'll save it. And then you think you can wash it off. Oh god it does not, no. does not react to water well. Mm-mm. Does not react to water. It no. completely breaks down. It, it, it then it just ceases to exist. Yeah. Uh, again, we're a gaming podcast, I promise. Uh check us out on our socials at Twitter at the EVM thousand at Cravy Subscribe. Let's get into the week. We have originally when I was putting this docket together, I was like, not much happened. Mm. And then two days ago xbox comes out and just goes here is next gen and we're like oh thank you xbox we're wiping our face from the load that we just received um before we get into the next gen of xbox alex yes. i have one question what's your question what have you been playing Elijah, i've been playing mm. i have been playing you guys my know good what sir we've been playing kingdom hearts 1.5 2.5 on the xbox one finally Finally. On an X, no less. Oh, no less, yeah. On an X, no less. And it feels right at home. Fantastic. Right at home. Fantastic. I love almost zero load times. Oh, no, yeah, for sure. I have not felt any load times. And of course, (laughs) is this a PS2 game? Yes, it is. Yeah. But it's loading fast. Yeah, it is. And I'm I'm excited for it. I'm here for it. I finished Kingdom Hearts 1 almost 100%. And when I say almost, it was really the garbage that you have to do, like the mini games. That's not really fun. Uh, yeah. And that was really that's, all uh, I have left. Yeah. And, and, yeah, that's it. I'm working on Ultima and working towards 100 because I'm 62 right now. I am. I just hit. I, like I said, I did everything. Killed yeah. Sethroth. Mm-hmm. Made him my um, bitch, as one would say. Ooh, made mouth. a. <laughs> <laughs> I fought Unknown. If you know Kingdom Hearts, mm-hmm. you know these things. Um, that was fun. I'm, I did almost go to two, but Alex, mm-hmm. we went to something else. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts Remind finally came to Xbox One. Yeah. It was delayed, not delayed, I guess. Um, we were, we got it late. PlayStation got it a month before us. Yep. So we finally got it, and we've been playing through it. I finished it. Did you finish? Uh, I have not. I 
I, I won't spoil I, it then. No, no, no. Yeah, I w- I've been doing the little areas, and uh, I got to a safe point. I stopped. It's fun. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, low frame. It's confusing, as Kingdom Hearts is, and yeah. I love it. Oh, for love sure. It. it it was cool to play as people you've never really played before. Right? No, yeah, I'll for take sure. any chance I get to play as Riku. Literally any chance. Um, yep. And then the Roxy stuff was really fun. And then there's a really cool stuff at the end. I didn't think that was going to happen. Okay. And there's really cool Avengers Endgame moments to not spoil things. Okay. There's stuff like that. Yeah. And then <laughs> there's a specific point, and we'll talk about this next week because I don't want to spoil it for you. I want you to, yeah. to, to enjoy when it happens. There's one moment that I'm like, I love Kingdom Hearts because <laughs> of how insane, but but... Uh, how insane the actual thing that's happening is, but how much I love it. Okay, and we'll talk about that next week. That's yep. a little spoiler. If you played it, you probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but other than that, Alex. Yeah, I'm gonna try to beat it tonight because I don't think I have too much left. No, it's not really long. No, yeah. So I, I should have. Jesus, the, should I've tried to... the uh, data escape bosses. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Are they hard? I got one out of the 13. And really? I, I only played three of them, but, and, but they are hard. And that's with your level 99 character? Yes. Really? They're, you're meant to be 99. You're Goodness, meant to be 99. It's oof. hard. It's hard. It's not like you can level up. They just nope. keep giving you... Imp- 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 well, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fun, but, yeah. good, but like I said, it's hard. It, it was hard. I, I'm, I looked up some videos. Mm-hmm. I never block in Kingdom Hearts, period. Never. Oh no! Zero. I never. I uh, never. No, I just dodge roll. The boss I was having trouble with. I looked up a strategy. Yeah, you have to block almost every hit. I'm like, oh. Oh, God. it's kind of like so I gotta the, relearn the, the ice game titan now. where you gotta like guard and then it shoots the icicles yeah. back. Yep, kind of like that. Yeah, where you, where you gotta learn what he's gonna do and then just yeah. keep blocking and then you'll hit him in. It's it's what sounds like fun. Uh, have we played any and more Apex? Of course. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why I'm gonna try to finish Remind and then we'll play some more Apex tonight. Yeah, I'm down for some more Apex. I'm in Gold Four, which I'm very excited about. Oh, because you were silver for last time I saw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. so you went up a whole rank. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's... I'm still bronze too. We'll get you up there. It's not hard. Oh, yeah, Especially yeah. when you win. As soon as you win, it's like yeah, you 200 get... points. Yeah, yeah. Um, but enough about us. Let's talk about Xbox Series X. Let's talk about Xbox Series X. Xbox dropped a tweet on us on Xbox Wire, I believe it was. Okay. And they straight up br- bring the heat to the next gen. It got hot. Battle Royale, you want to call it. Yeah. They released this image. 12 teraflops, variable rate shading, hardware accelerated di- a direct X ray tracing, quick resume for multiple games, and smart delivery. That is what heads this article. All right. Then let's get into the actual meat of this article. I skipped some things. If you want to go to the full article and read everything, mm-hmm. I skipped some things. There, there's some like phil spencer like we're like working the sauce yeah getting you hyped oh we've been doing this to get the gamers excited yeah i skipped all that and went to the, the actual stuff so okay <clears throat> starting from the top a superior balance of power and speed compared to the previous versions xbox series x represents a superior balance of power and speed in console design advancing on all technological fronts to delivering amazing dynamic living worlds and minimize any aspects that can take you out of the experience our job at Team Xbox is to give teams the tools they need to achieve their ambitions and tap into the console's power with efficiency. A few of which were detailing their raw power is just part of the story. <laughs> Next generation custom processor Xbox Series X is our most powerful console ever powered by our custom design processor leveraging AMD's latest Zen 2 and RDNA 2 architecture. Goodness. Delivering four times the processing power of the Xbox One and enabling developers to leverage 12 teraflops of GPU performance twice that as the xbox one x and more than eight times the original xbox one that thing was like a potato now i just i, I remember with the x when it came out it was like oh my god this thing is so powerful now this is like a lot more we were dealing with six teraflops yeah then. so we this is du- this is double <laughs> we're, we were we were just small children like learning i, to I walk. don't think i can't now imagine like how it runs I can't either, and this will be one of the things where you kind of have to see it to believe it, mm-hmm. because tw- twelve teraflops to me, honestly, means nothing. Yeah. But twice as fast as or twice as strong as my Xbox One X that, means a little like, yeah. more. Yeah. Oh, it depends on confused. how you say it, too. Yeah. Um. Where was it? Xbox One Series X delivers a true generational leap in processing and graphics power with cutting edge techniques, resulting in higher frame rates, larger, more sophisticated game worlds, and an immersive experience unlike anything seen in console gaming. 
all that's exciting. Oh, God, More yeah. processing, all yep. that stuff, right? Not yep. too much to speak there. It's really strong. Variable to rate shading. Our patent form of VRS empowers developers to more efficiently utilize the full power of Xbox Series X. Rather than spending GPU cycles uniformly to every single part, uh, sorry, every single pixel on the screen, they can prioritize individual effects on specific game characters or important environmental objects. This technique results in a more stable frame rate and higher resolutions with no impact to the final image quality. You're on fire today, ain't you? Thank you. I, uh, am I pronouncing things correct? Is that what you mean? Well, no, your phone. Oh, my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were giving me a compliment. What is going on? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, his phone just keeps blowing up. I, I just hear going. ding after ding. And, you know, before this podcast, oh, we were talking about it. It's like, oh, we, we should mute our phones. I did mute it. And then I forget. Gentlemen, I, then I that ain't it. <laughs> that is a joke. No. Okay. That was just a bunch of nonsense that's happening. I moved the phone. Forget yeah, yeah. about the Apple Watch all the time. Oh, yeah. Good forget point. about the Apple yeah. Watch all the time. Where was I? Right here. Hardware uh, yep. accelerated direct edge ray tracing. You can expect more dynamic and realistic environments powered by hardware accelerated direct X ray tracing. At first for console gaming, this means true to life lightning, lighting, sorry, accurate reflections, and realistic acoustics in real time as you explore the game world. That is what I'm most excited about. Is that about. what ray tracing means? Yes. Okay, because I was going to ask you, like, what means is ray tracing? Basically, for people who don't know, some people don't yeah. know, it is you are able to attribute light mm-hmm. as a physic okay is the easiest way of saying it so like this light in the room yeah this light knows because it's light yeah to expand and bounce off of places so, you, so that's basically what ray tracing is okay you can manipulate light, it ma- manipulate it to what light would actually yeah. do um if you this is a fun youtube google session if you yeah. ever get a, guys get a chance just look up a game and then put ray tracing minecraft is the best one yeah doom was a really good one and there's a i think a control might have been another one okay. but whew, it is just like it, it's one of those things where it's like doesn't even look real yeah until you like stare at it and you're like oh my god this is crazy yeah especially the, it's just very pretty in the the water i don't know if Oh, it, it affects water as well, it, but it, it, the water looks real. So it's kind of like, you, so you remember in Sea of Thieves when we first saw the you know, how how realistic that water looks? I couldn't stop staring at Imagine it. Imagine that in ray tracing. Mm-hmm. So That'd like, it's awesome. even, cr- it's crazy. I wonder what Sea of Thieves would look like. Because we'll, that's, we'll that's all water. So I, that would completely change yeah, the we'll dynamic see, of the I, world. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, there's, there has to, yeah, Sea of Thieves has to be on. Of course, of course. Series X, yeah. Immersion in an instant. The next console generation will be defined by more playing and less waiting. And when play begins, we know many players demand ultra-low latency to as immersed and precise as possible. To this end, the team analyzed every step between player and game, from controller to console to display, and asked how we could make it faster. SSD storage. With our next-generation SSD storage, nearly every aspect of playing games is improved. Game modes are larger, more dynamic, and loaded in a flash. Fast travel is just that. Fast. Quick resume. The new quick resume feature lets you continue multiple games from a suspended state almost instantly, returning to where you were and what you were doing without waiting through long loading screens. Boom. I'm, that. I'm, at, I'm excited for that. that. Case in point. Because it's not just one game. It's multiple. Case in point, Kingdom Hearts. Playing yeah. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. I get hit up by my buddy John. Yeah. Hey, get on Apex. Yep. All right. But yeah, the gotta thing wait is, for you got to go to save. Get, you yep. got to close it. You got to open up Apex. Now, you, I guess there's, I assume there's like squares that you would save this in. i guess you save it to a to to like a slot i'm wondering if it, move over to something else. i'm wondering if it's kind of like you know how the switch with the nes system how it has it and you kind of like have that save point you just boop and drop it and yeah. you can go to it and it just immediately resumes where you were i wonder if it's like that i'm assuming it, i'm picturing like a home screen like we yeah. are right now yeah, yeah, yeah and it's like slides so like yeah. you go down to apex and then mm-hmm. the suspended are like maybe up here yeah and you go all the way up to a suspended game or something like that i have no idea but that's probably one of my most looked forward to oh for sure of course other than ray tracing yeah yeah um dynamic latency input we're optimizing latency in the player two console pipeline starting with our xbox wireless controller which leverages our high bandwidth prior uh proprietary wireless communication protocol when connected to the console with dynamic latency input a new feature which synchronizes input immediately what is deployed controls are even more precise and responsive cool yeah nothing to add there that seems cool seems honestly it's hard for me to imagine it be getting less latency because i don't notice anything now yeah but hey. I, it's 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 like you, you got to be one of those people that can really tell 
Like yeah. I can't really tell. I can tell frames now because I have frames. Just yes. Notice it, but now with the, the like the hitting, with, like, yeah, like, yeah, mm, can't really tell now. HDMI 2.1 innovation. We've partnered with the HDMI forum and TV manufacturer to enable the best gaming experience through features such as auto low latency mode and variable refresh rate. A- ALLM allows Xbox One and Xbox Series X to automatically set the connected display to its lowest latency mode. VRR synchronizes the display's refresh rate to the game's frame rate, maintaining smooth visuals without tearing, ensuring minimal lag and the <laughs> most responsive gaming experience. Great. Easy, yep. especially if you don't know how to do that already with your existing TVs. Mm-hmm. Easy for people to just hit the thing. It tells you, hey, we recommend these settings, and you just hit the button. Yep. I, I always like the, I don't know if people know this, you can go into your Xbox and it will tell you what your TV supports. Oh, yeah. For, yeah. Um, I think it's in... God, it, it's different now. It should be TV and video. Yes. And then 4K TV details. And then... Yeah, you go to details it, it and it tell should you, tell you, oh, your TV supports this. It supports this. It, sh- it supports HDR10 or it yeah. supports 60 frames or it supports 120 Hertz. Vision, things, things, things like that. that. It, tells, it just tells you like a full breakdown. And that stuff's really cool because you yeah. can tell like oh, let me figure out how to turn this on or this Mm. on. Like with my TV, for instance, you don't have 4K or you don't have HDR until you turn on HDR for an an input on the TV. And some people Mm -hmm. might not even know that what TV they have. Yeah, with mine, I have one of my my TVs only has HDR on HDMI 1. So like I have to make sure, let's say if I had my Xbox connected to HDMI 2, um, I it'll it'll it won't work for the HDR, so yeah, I would so have to switch have it. To it yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The next generation of game compatibility. Oh, you, you missed one more thing. Dude. I did. I did. Well, I did. One twenty FPS did. support with support for up to one hundred and twenty frames per second. Xbox Series allows everyone to exceed the standard sixty frames per second output in favor of heightened realism or fast paced action. I am. <sighs> what bring it on i feel like 60 is already i'm like this is nice so 120 for, con- for console people 60 is when it feels good yeah i 120 mean 20 com- is gonna feel i mean computer people are used to 120 so i'm like i want we're getting to their level now the high ends are 200 now which i really there's a imagine. over that now yeah because oh. um you can do uncapped frame rate which means the game just goes to the highest frame rate it can oh wow on okay the system. fortnite apex are really like big yeah, on yeah, that. yeah yeah i think rainbow six sieges as well I don't really mess with stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I just go with whatever it will run and mm-hmm. won't crash oh, yeah, my system. Sure. Um, but yeah, that's cool. And if we get 120 frames Excuse for me. instance Apex Legends, mm-hmm. I'm feeling great. Oh yeah. The you'll feel faster because you can tell with the frames you're able to move more. Yeah. Oh, so excited. You feel like your um, response time will be Doom. better. Doom. Yeah. I mean, imagine that game 120 frames. Ooh. Feels I, great. Dude, 60, I, thought right? six, I told you when I started replaying Doom that 60 just made me feel so much better in playing the game yeah, and it's smooth. more enjoyable so I, I can't imagine 120 I, uh, this reminds you of the borderlands 3 situation yes where you originally start the game and it's in 4k yeah, yeah. and you go to turn and you're like Whoa. well this feels weird so you go to performance Change and then it, it feels 60 yeah so much better oh. yeah, like you can feel like, the difference like butter yeah like butter the next generation of game compatibility the benefits of the next console generation extend to every direction bringing greater visual fidelity and improved loading speeds to your existing gaming legacy. In addition to new games, we're continuing our commitment to compatibility with the Xbox Series S and investing in technology that makes game ownership easier across generations. Four generations of gaming. Our commitment to compatibility means existing Xbox One games, including backwards compatible 360 and original Xbox games, Look and play better than ever before. Your favorite games, including titles in Game Pass, benefit from steadier frame rates, faster load times, and improved resolution and visual fidelity, all with no developer work required. Your Xbox One gaming accessories also come forward with you. So all Keep it your coming, man. existing controllers, all your, yeah, all your accessories. accessories. You will not have the share button, obviously, with the new new, new controllers. Yeah, has that new button in the middle there. Mm-hmm. But without that, I mean, hey, you're fine. Yeah. You stick with what you got. You don't have to buy anything else, especially in our case with the Series uh, 2 Elite. Yeah. I don't want to I don't want to buy another Series Elite. Oh, no. I got mine as existing one right now. I'll yeah. just use that. Yep. This next one, very important. We're going to get into sure. why it's important. And a follow-up tweet from Mr. CG Project Red himself. Smart delivery. This technology empowers you to buy a game once. And know that whether you are playing it on an Xbox or Xbox Series X, you are getting the right version on that game. 
on whatever Xbox you're playing on. We're making the commitment to use Smart Delivery on all of our exclusive Xbox Game Studio titles, including Halo Infinite, ensuring you have to purchase a title once in order to play the best available version for whichever Xbox console they choose to play on. This technology is available to all developers and publishers, and they can choose to use it for titles that will release on Xbox One first and come to Xbox Series X later. Keynote, they can choose to do that. Yeah. Xbox is not forcing anyone in this scenario, mm-hmm. which probably shouldn't force people, but no, no, for sure. this is very pro-consumer. You buy one game, Yep. you have the game. You have the game, yeah. Over on Cyberpunk 2077's Twitter page, they retweet the original tweet Twitter showing off all this stuff. Mm-hmm. This is uh, from straight from their Twitter page. Gamers should never be forced to purchase the same game twice or pay for upgrades. Owners of Cyberpunk 2077 for Xbox will receive the Xbox Series X upgrade for free when available. Huge. That's awesome. Huge. No way they didn't talk beforehand because that oh, literally sure. came minutes after, I believe. Yeah. They talked about this beforehand. I'm seeing some partnership with uh, mm-hmm. with Xbox and CG Project CD, Red yeah. here. So that's exciting. I'm curious if this extends. Yeah. And I'm curious if that's why this got delayed. It was delayed to September 7th. Is there some kind of shenanigans with Xbox Series X now? Mm. It does say you will receive the Series X upgrade for free when available. Yeah. Assumingly at launch... You yep. will get Cyberpunk if you had that'd previously be, bought it. That'd be crazy for a free upgrade. You don't have to pay. Oh no, that yeah, that's wild. And that's crazy because I mean the game. Let's say it's, uh, Cyberpunk is out. What September you said? September seventh. Yeah, so that the game's out then. Series X November. I'm assuming. You see. Um. You so as now. soon as Series X comes out, you'll be like, oh, what games can I play if there's nothing? Let's say they don't have any like a lot of launch titles. You can go play Cyberpunk Series X version. Which what? I assume that's what's going to happen. I assume so, too. This will probably be my second playthrough. Let's um, not get too into the weeds. But m- this could potentially be the best launch lineup we ever get oh, yeah. for a game series. Because we are bringing all the games we have built up from one. Oh, yeah. From 360. Yep. If you bought original Xbox games as well. Alex, mm. they bring up Game Pass in this article. Yep. I'm going to read it real quick. And then I have questions. Okay. Xbox Game Pass, in addition to games from across four generations of consoles, our leading game subscription Xbox Game Pass will continue to have our first party games, like Halo Infinite, included at their launch. We look forward to millions of you experiencing Xbox Game Pass portfolio and immersing yourselves in a deep library of high quality games, playing those you love now and also discovering your next great adventure. Xbox Game Pass is going to 100% be available at launch and will 100% include the library it probably has actively Already. at that time yeah that is wild yeah and that is incredible so, savings yeah. for so people at launch series x is gonna you, if you if you have game pass already you already have hun- uh, over 100 games over 100 for games. series x you spend 10 bucks yeah for that month yeah and now mind you you get halo infinite already off the bat as soon as that game cheaper releases if you you know Use the deals. You get that dollar, oh, yeah. two dollar one. Oh, you know they're coming. Going out. You know they're coming. <sighs> you know, originally when I heard Xbox Game Pass being announced for, for first party titles, mm-hmm. right? They announced, oh, whenever a new Halo comes out, we're gonna have that. Forza's, they're gonna be on there. Sea of Thieves, it's on there. Mm-hmm. It did ring. Oof, this seems desperate. Yeah. Now it's. I feel the complete opposite. You know, I yeah, was I was worried that oof, this is an Xbox that they're seems not gonna to make, be on the you know, heels. And I figured when the new generation was coming, they would kind of scoot away from uh, back away have, from you it. Have to, yeah. You have to buy the games now. Yeah, they're a hundred percent behind Game Pass, and I'm loving it. Oh. I love Game Pass, the best value in gaming. We keep saying on here, we are rebranding as the Xbox Game Pass podcast, <laughs> uh, effective immediately. Yeah, um, right. But for sure, this is awesome, and keeps the value coming. No, yeah, especially I'm, for I, a new yeah, system. That's crazy. Whew. A generation with players at the center. Xbox Series X is our fastest, most popular console ever, designed for a console generation that has you at its center. This means a high fidelity gaming experience enclosed in a quite and bold design with the ability to discover thousands of games across four generations, all with more playing and less waiting. 
Whether it's empowering amazing creators at our 15 Xbox Game Studios, fueling game discovery with Xbox Game Pass, or expanding what or where you can play with Project X Cloud, Team Xbox stands for frictionless pathways between players and the best experience our remarkable raw pharma has to offer. Xbox Series X represents the same commitment for players who want immediate immersion in games that also look to feel better than ever. We can't wait to share more details about the new Xbox with you in the coming months. E3, that is baby. the end. E3. Yeah. I assume we're getting at least one more of these things before E3. Because mm-hmm. sharing more details, I assume we're not, they're not going quiet until June. Because uh, this kind of came out of nowhere. What if they just, like, like even before E3, just, si- just silent tweets and it's just like all you see is the system, the price, the release date, and they, they don't even say anything. They just, just, just put it out there. Act like it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> That'd be nuts. That'd be nuts. I assume we're getting all that E3, mm-hmm. but that doesn't put... Pa- I mean, because we've gotten... That's a full-on deep dive into, like, yeah. hey, this is all the nerdy stuff that so most people will clock This is what it is. I'm, I'm, cu- I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is kind of like what we've been getting with the PlayStation 5, with the Wired articles, mm-hmm. with, like, this thing will play Spider-Man really fast, or, you know, whatever they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were talking about. This uh, supports this thing, you know. This is kind of like a same thing, but more centered in the community because it's on their own website and they're talking about things like the compatibility, Game Pass, things like Mm. that, Quick Resume. They're going into features rather than just kind of how strong the thing is. So I'm excited about that. I'm hoping for more, right? I'm hoping for a little more something to entice you know what i mean yeah get, kind no, of that's what i'm saying like a little I'm, more i feel like we're gonna get something else big and then they'll be like you'll see more at e3 mm-hmm. and like i feel like we'll see they'll say something either like price or release date or just something on those bases before e3 and that e3 they'll, they'll talk about it more and then they'll be like well here's some gameplay and then I assume pre-orders and all this yeah. stuff will go up pre-orderable for June. now. Yeah, I assume yeah. now or the next day or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. they want to say. Exciting, exciting oh, for times. Sure. For Anything sure. to leave with uh, the Series X. I, um, the specs are amazing. I've seen that. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the Twitter, the uh, Twitter meme kind of thing, where mm-hmm. they're like, uh, Stadia was like, we're the strongest at ten point five teraflops. Oh yeah, yep. Now they're Look twelve that. teraflops. Yeah, yeah. Now they're stronger, so they can't even say that anymore. Yep. That sucks for them. <laughs> Which is crazy because Stadia is a streaming service. So like, that's my, I, I, it's confusing how that would work. What? Because, like, didn't, yeah, didn't Stadia say they, they were, like, 10 teraflops? But they don't have a hardware. Yeah, so what what they meant was each person gets basically the equivalent of 10 teraflops oh, the equivalent, of, gotcha. of hardware off of the data center they're yeah, using. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Right, makes sense. Um. But that's everything with it. Shout out to Phil Spencer for writing a blog. That was oh, cool. Yeah. And I, that, I assume he wrote that all up and uh, took the time out, put it, put out. Uh, a good to see Game Pass is staying, staying as amazing as it already is. Right? Kingdom yep. Hearts 3 is on there. Go play it. Oh, God, Go yeah. play Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, so good. But that's all. Let's move on to an upsetting article. But you know what? We'll stick through it, Alex. EA canceled a Star Wars Battlefront spinoff last Another year. Another one. <laughs> this is over by the great man himself jason schreier over on kotaku um i ripped off this entire article i'm not gonna lie to you please go over there give the man the click this dude is straight up the best games journalist out there give that man a click this was awesome to read last spring electronic arts canceled a planned spinoff of its popular star wars battlefront series the third star wars game that the publisher has axed since 27 <laughs> the last game codenamed viking was originally envisioned for release in fall 2020 alongside the next generation of consoles but once it became clear to the ea execs that the timeline was unrealistic viking was no more it definitely got axed this account uh that's funny because the axe viking mm-hmm. get yep, it yep this account is based on interviews with six people familiar with ea's inner workings all of whom spoke anonymously because they were not authorized to speak to a reporter about canceled projects mm. the backstory of viking it itself worth worthy of a star wars intro scroll it started off a long time ago in 2015 and the galaxy far far away in san francisco <laughs> at the ea owned studio visceral games which is no more by the way mm. which spent two years developing a star wars heist game called ragtag oh, I remember under this. the well-known director amy henning in october 2017 ea shut down visceral and canceled ragtag although it said that the ragtag's art assets would be shipped up to the Canadian game studio EA Vancouver for a brand new open world Star Wars game, which I'm assuming was Jedi Fallen Order. 
Because right. EA Vancouver made that. Pretty sure. So. Uh, let's see. That second game, Orca, was in development all through. Oh, I think this is it, actually. Okay. Orca was in development all throughout 2018 until it, too, was canceled by EA. <laughs> EA Kotaka broke the news of Orca's cancellation last year at the point we reported that EA Vancouver was spinning up a smaller Star Wars project to replace it, one that would be planned for release in fall 2020, alongside the next-gen PlayStation and Xbox electronic executives liked to call it a financial hole that needed filling. <laughs> Oh, so that's sad for them. This third game was called Viking, and it was designed as a spinoff to the uh, Star Wars Battlefront series with open world elements. The plan was also for EA to bring in yet another studio to help out Criterion, based in London, England, which was previously best known for racing games like Burnout and Need for Speed, but had in recent years expanded to more genres. EA became we spent some time designing ideas and prototypes for Viking, and Criterion came aboard soon afterward. There has been some problems started, although Criterion was, on paper, the lead studio. The logistic challenges of cross-country game development made that a difficult proposition. As one person involved with the game said, too many cooks was a running theme. Criterion leads had an ambitious vision for the game, aiming to put a strong focus on story and characters. It seemed to become clear that Viking would never be finished in just a year and a half. Shocking. And the AD executives had no interest in extending the timeline. Viking was canceled in the first half of 2019. Although the news had gone unreported until now, the fall 2020 financial hole would go unfilled. Sad to hear. Sad I, to hear. It's like the third Star Wars game. Third it's Star like, Wars game that we didn't see. This just fills the hole of sadness that is Star Wars games. Uh, I'm reminded of Star Wars 1313 that we never yep. got because LucasArts was uh, closed. Yep. And the Darth Maul game we never got because LucasArts was closed. Why are you doing this stuff? <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this stuff? <laughs> EA. Go Why? Make, go make those Technically, games. the last two weren't EA. Nah, but, like, you nah. get blamed now. They it. should go back and just redo all of those. I would, too. I assume back. there's some I, legal I, reason you can't. But yeah, make a Darth Maul game, you cowards. Okay? Yeah. There, we're getting another Star Wars Clone Wars show. Make make a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is shocking because um, I didn't really have a history with Star Wars games. Mm-hmm. I played Star Wars Revenge of the Sith um, on PS2. Yeah. I really love that game. Um, but I never really played a lot of the other ones. I played the, um, what was it called? Um, what was the one, what, what's it called when they ra- pod racing? Oh yeah. Remember yeah. That, the the PS2, PS2 game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I played yeah. that a lot too. Yeah. That, that's really it. Yeah. There was a bunch apparently of um, Star Wars games. So oh, no, for sure. There was a crazy bunch, yeah. that it's all been reduced um, to nothing. Yeah. There was like, a, well, there's a bunch of them on the original xbox for on xbox one that you can get like uh, like jedi Starfighter, knight fighter jedi knight yeah. jedi academy yep. uh, old, old republic old republic 2 mm-hmm. isn't there rumors they're making an old republic remake uh, yeah there's yeah, a rumor. that's yeah. right we talked about these yep and then uh, we just saw well at least i saw today about the new is it a movie is it a show the high republic i think it's a book is it, uh, that's why i haven't been like able to actually read it but yeah. it looked like a book and it looked like a whole new like it's the like, they're yeah, trying to do yeah, yeah you it's know, like Skywalker before was a thing. Skyrock, now yeah. they're trying to do this and like whatever yeah everyone looks like they're in robes yeah so everybody it's like when the jedi council was still like a high a big thing even before the prequels mm. you, don't care, you, you don't care for that i do care and see, i'm I, hoping it, it looks so jedi mm-hmm. that i'm like and see, I, like, and see, I like it because, like, when the prequels came out and they were the whole Jedi Council order, all these Jedi's everywhere. I enjoyed that, but I, they, they they kept going to it was like, oh, politics, politics. I was like, I just don't want preachy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it when they're dynamic. Yeah, right? yeah, I like a dynamic struggle with like I'm a Jedi, but like I'm really strong in the darkness Dark, or something. Yeah, like th- something, yeah. something like that. Not just these like or binary. show like the first jedi and the first sith and like, like i don't sh- like this binary like this is good and this is evil mm-hmm. like, it's boring it's boring because like, i always know who the bad guy is yeah oh and uh, <laughs> jason schreier just casually drops um ea has two new star wars games to development a sequel to jedi fallen order at respawn and a smaller more unusual project at ea motive in montreal canada i'm assuming he knows what that is but he's not giving up the goods mm-hmm. and, and there is no more unusual f- project yeah i'm curious on what that is is it a star wars connect 2 do you remember that 
You remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Was that. What, what, no, terrible. They can't, it can't be a second one because they don't support the Connect anymore. That was a, mostly a joke. <laughs> I, oh, I, 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 I took you serious for a second. <laughs> You're like, uh, uh, that's preposterous. Unless it's for the VR. No, God, please stop. Please don't bring this. Don't give them, don't the, give them yeah, ideas. Don't give them ideas. They're going to be like, oh, oh, that's right. There is VR. I mean, they did try that. What? That the uh, Darth Vader immortal yeah i heard that's good yeah no i heard that's good I too i want to try it touched it it's all. for oculus yeah i don't have a oculus i don't have a cool 500 grand uh 500 to drop on an oculus so <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm out of luck on that one yeah um, same so uh the, something i wanted to point out here no battlefront 3 i thought there was for sure a battlefront yeah 3 i remember when you call I... never mind well, i assume mr the... jason schreier would have pointed that out unless that's the most unusual project and he just doesn't want to say anything because of this whole thing that they He's, canceled. He said before that he doesn't like spoiling surprises for, if it's not necessary or yeah. newsworthy. Um, I'm the opposite. If I knew stuff and I was a, a journalist, mm-hmm. I'd blow it all up. But <laughs> I probably wouldn't be invited to dinners anymore, so I guess no, I get it. Yeah. I guess I get it. But nonetheless, we're moving on. He won't say anything. I won't say anything, I promise. <laughs> I'm not a journalist, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Bethesda. Joins Activision by pulling games f- from GeoForce Now. <laughs> if you lost last, if you watched last week's episode, I guess listen to it. I said GeoForce a lot. GeoForce, and now it's called GeoForce in this room, and you can be a part of it. Yeah, it's now GeoForce Now. Yeah, it's, you now. can't undo it. Now. In a post on the video forum, a company representative provided a list of all Bethesda games that left GeoForce Now. You can get the full list on there. Most of Bethesda games, if not all of them. <laughs> But those games have been taken off the much hyped GeoForce Now. Also taken off is most of the modern Call of Duty games because Activision straight up left too. Um, from wow. 2007's Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare to 2019's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So Isn't all that of funny? them? Basically all of them. Yeah. Um, all of the modern ones, Sekiro and yeah. Hearthstone and Overwatch are also included in the purge of Activision games from the promised service that is GeoForce That's crazy. Now. Because I wonder I'm how many assuming. people are using GeoForce Now. Oh, Geo. I assume not a lot. Yeah. It's new, and I assume not a lot of people know about it. I mean... But I'm not in a PC world. Yeah, so that's I don't what know. I was like, I don't I'm know. not on PC Magazine every day. PC Gamer is another place mm-hmm. you can go. I'm not on them, the oh, forums. Then, yeah. I'm not on Reddit, whatever they go to talk. So yeah, I'm, ass- assume Reddit. I'm assuming it's relatively popular, especially... Yeah. But it, it this all this happened so fast. It's like they didn't expect the service to start or something. Yeah. Because they just all dipped out immediately. Because you can tell yeah. either I wonder I don't I wonder why they left. Is it the money? Is it they plan on doing this themselves? Because mm. remember, no one will remember this, and I'm surprised I do. Do you remember if Bethesda is doing their own streaming thing? Yes. It's, it's, and then they have that that browser, the the Opera GX something like that. <sighs> I forget what it's called. But yeah, that's like a you browser. You remember more than I do. I just remember because well, I had it downloaded. They downloaded have <laughs> um, a streaming service, isn't it? Like, like space, like themed or something, galaxy or something. I, uh, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. They're I've, doing something, and I doubt that is ever going to see the light of day. But if it does, good for them. Yeah, right. But I'm assuming that's why, and they could not be paying enough. I assume Activision's like, no, fam, we don't need that, which is shocking because. It, it's it's sad because G Force seemed so cool and mm. it just got eaten alive immediately because now that's leaving that's what's what's next now, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's crazy because somebody's car is going off. Someone's car going off. It's great. We get in weird gray areas here. Yeah. Because you're not buying games off of GeoForce for everyone at home listening. Orion. Sorry. Thank you, Orion. All right. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was space because yeah. that's a nebula. Orion's bail. Yeah, Ryan's about thank you. Um, the uh, service is a service of games you already own. Mm-hmm. It go it pulls from Steam, it pulls from everything, and you pay for the service to stream your games on things. So it's weird because they're pulling games people already own, but it's a paid for service that they're not getting money from. So like, there's like a weird gray area where like I guess technically they're in the right because they're not getting probably paid enough i don't know i don't yeah. really have a opinion on this i just we talked about geoforce now before and i wanted to bring up hey it's changed a lot and did you ever try on geoforce i know you wanted to 
Um, I tried getting it on my on my phone, mm-hmm. and I went to like for example Destiny, and it, it, there's a queue to let you in the game, which is weird. So like I went on it, it's like oh either let's say you're number seventeen in the queue to get in the game, and I'm like all right, and I this is like when I went to load in, it just said that unable to connect, so I was like eh, I'm good. <laughs> you're like all right, we're never going back to this again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm whatever about it. I'm like that's cool, I guess. Yeah. Alex, mm. Shovel Knight's getting a spin-off puzzle game. This is by Ethan Gatch over on Kotaku, I'm pretty sure. No, GameSpot. This is GameSpot. No, this is Kotaku. Sorry. This is Kotaku. The game, a collaboration between Yacht Club and indie developer Vine, will revive around exploring a dungeon by clearing rooms of enemies that behave like falling blocks in a block-matching puzzle. Shovel Knight will damage any by bumping into them and be able to chain attacks together with similar enemies all together. No release date was announced. I thought this was a cool thing just to put in because I like Shovel Knight and I think you mm. like Shovel Knight too, don't you? I Did played you play a, I played a little bit of it. I just never got into it. I played the first one and never went back for any of the DLC. But it is one of those games where you bought once and you were entitled to like four expansions without paying any extra, mm-hmm. which is super cool to Yacht Club um, because I assume they weren't expecting such a giant blow up from the game. But yeah. hey, good for them. Now, this is a long one. I'm probably going to scooch this up a little bit. So sorry at everyone home with this little word salady. Uh, Destiny yeah. 2 is finally getting trials over Cyrus. This is by Ethan Gatch yet again. And it is Kodaku. Thank you. Yeah. I thought so. Yes. Last night, players completed the final stage of Destiny 2's Emprian Foundation event, resulting in an announcement from Bungie that the beloved high-stakes player, uh, player versus player mode from the first game, Trials of Osiris, will be returning March 13th. This Destiny 2 Empyrean Foundation thing, by the way, super weird. I don't remember what they're doing, but mm-hmm. like they're having to build up like a, a thing by killing things, I think, with and getting points. Okay. I think there's an event, and the community had to raise a certain amount of foundation points yeah, yeah. to unlock this, I think. Huh. So Yeah, I haven't played Destiny 2 since the uh, what, the last the last DLC. What did we play? Uh, well, I mean, we played a lot after that, though, right? It was like a month after we were still playing, right? Yeah. Because we went into the next season after that. Yes, we did. Yeah. And then I went like that. And, and then, then we stopped. Uh, eventually, you right, you get burned out. Mm-hmm. I assume the same thing will happen eventually with Apex. Again. Yeah, again. D2 needs aspirational experiences like Trials and PvP. The game's director, Luke Smith, said on Twitter, Trials of Osiris hasn't been around since back in 2017 in Destiny. In that version, teams of three players battled against one another through successive matches where their individual power levels mattered. Players get rewards relative to the number of wins they'd get. And players who went flawless, achieved nine wins and zero losses, received the special honor of visiting Osiris's lighthouse on Mercury. Bungie tried to bring back some of that magic in Destiny 2 with a mode called Trials of the Nine, but it just wasn't the same. According to a brief developer video, the new version of Trials will be much like the old one, even bringing back the original armor sets players could win. And if a team of players is able to go flawless, their Trials armors will even start to glow. On Twitter, Smith confirmed that the mode's uh, matchmaking will also take into account a player's current records. In addition to the connection speeds, if two pl- uh, teams are hunting for their ninth win, they're most likely to be paired up to increase the drama and tension. That's terrifying. Mm-hmm. Of course, if they win, they won't be going back to the old lighthouse. Instead, players will finally get to visit the new beacon they've been helping to construct as part of the pl- uh, game's ongoing Empyrean Foundation event. For the last few weeks, players have been harvesting literally billions of pieces of fractaline the current season's main uh, currency and donating it to the foundation in hopes that something cool would happen interesting <laughs> i like how the way that's put in yeah. hopes of something cool would happen they don't know if something cool will happen they're just hoping to but that's cool i don't plan on coming back for that but more power tool seems awesome yeah i like the idea of the community thing i always had fun with stuff like that mm-hmm. um there was an event i participated in for a cool emblem um i don't remember what it was called but we had to essentially kill a specific strike boss like a 50 million times or something like that like as a community all together and then you had to do escalation protocol waves like interesting okay a hundred thousand i think i remember you doing that stuff yeah and and i would go and help like bring the numbers up by doing the strike or yeah yeah. run to an an escalation protocol because everyone was doing it and helping them break it and stuff it was just fun stuff for the community every time i pass by an escalation protocol it would be like boom you started i'm like man i don't want to do this (laughs) it's it's like let me go kill some it's it's the best way to farm like hive kills i remember that going back there all the time starting the first wave and just sitting there mowing down these dumb little animals Mm -hmm. alex yes that's a ut with destiny 2 let's get into some savings i want to save you some money Kind of, because it's not really free. I mean, um, 
in a way. It's not free at all. No, you have no, to pay not. for it. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> games with Gold for March was released. Um, included in Games with Gold, Batman the Enemy Within, the complete season, which is cool. Uh, Shantae, Half Genie Hero, Castlevania Lords of Shadows 2, and Sonic Generations. Pretty good month. Yeah, it's pretty good. I would good. say decent. Really cool with... Uh, I'm down with everything other than Shantae, but I've heard Shantae's really yeah, good. Yeah, for people who would like <laughs> Shantae, I've heard they're... That one's a really good one. I heard that too. I I'm just, excited to play Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. I've never yes. played it. I, I, do s- I played the demo one time when the demos were still a thing on the 360. Because remember, I used You're to You're calling them out, Alex. You're like, when demos were a thing. Well. Xbox. Well, because I used to be that person that would download all the new game demos. That's true. And I just li- enjoyed it. I don't know why. There were and, f- you, and you hated it. I would it. get on. <laughs> and I would see eight to nine new demos or free games. And I'd be like, Alex, you're cluttering my library. Because I'm very <laughs> anal about things like that. Yeah. Where like, I'll go to my library and there's like a bunch of garbage demos. I'm like, oh my God. And then you got to hide it from the list individually. <laughs> I, mine are still not hiding from the you're list. You're a savage person. <laughs> but yeah, I looked at the demos to see if there was any new ones. No. Something it's- to complain about. Mm. I'm in the update. I got the new update, right? Okay. With uh, uh, Xbox because we're in the insider program. Insider order. thing, yeah. It's unhid all of the games in the library. So oh. I have to now go and un- rehide everything. Oh, no. Xbox, this is a direct complaint. Do you understand me? Don't do it again. Back to He's this. very serious <laughs> about this. <laughs> it's just super frustrating because I was no, going no, yeah, through to I download Doom one, two, and three because they were on sale for for like a dollar, five dollars, yeah, five dollars for Doom one through three on Xbox. I don't know if it was on sale on PlayStation, but it was on Switch. It was on sale on Switch. Go buy it. Yeah. Five dollars, one, two, and three. Yeah, even if you're not gonna play, it, <laughs> yeah, just buy it. Um, but I was now telling Claire. I digress. I'm a whiny bitch. I'm a whiny bitch. Uh, PlayStation Plus. Also was revealed for March, Shadow of the Colossus and Sonic Forces. <laughs> Shadow of the Colossus? Good game. Fantastic game. Sonic Forces, one of the worst games of Sonic, period, I've ever heard. Look, I was, it was okay. Don't defend them. I, I played it. You're being, it you're okay. being Alex about it. You're being nice. Now, you're being nice to making developers. your own person. I'm eh. straight with you guys. Eh. That game was terrible. You got to make a fursona. You gave, You were able to give him little boxing gloves and pirate hats and beards. It was weird. That, that part was a little weird. It was weird. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> oh, it wasn't. It, it was. It fine. wasn't weird. I messed with okay, you. Okay, so now, first. okay, so now, since you 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 dislike this one so much, do you dislike this one more than the 360 Sonic the Hedgehog game? I have a special place of hate for the 360 oh, uh, 06 Sonic It's game. crazy because, because I enjoyed that one more than this one. As a kid, of course, I liked it. Because you don't have taste when you're a child. And looking I mean, back, you realize, I thought, wow, this is weird. I mean, Why is Sonic dating a human child? This is weird and that's creepy that's to watch Sonic make out with this baby. <laughs> and then there's uh, Silver <laughs> and then Shadow. Silver so looked cool. I was always no, a shadow yeah. guy. No, shadow's my favorite. Mm-hmm. <sighs> First sonos are fine, by the way. I was kidding. Relax. What is it? First sonos. Do you know what this is? Mm-mm. So First sonos are what, what you call like you as a Sonic character. Interesting. Yeah. Didn't know that. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the internet, Alex. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but so you, it, fun thing you could do at home, because again, I don't judge. You look up, you put put your name in Google, and then put the hedgehog. You will always get a hedgehog for no matter what your name is. Someone really? Has, yes. Good. I'm Do doing it. this right now. Do it. He'll do it right now. You get his live reaction. This is the first time we've done a live reaction. Let's see what so Alex, I can put Alex, Alex the hedgehog. Yes, but do that. I've done How it before. I hedgehog. There I think I was a green hedgehog. I think I was. And it's, I could just put it on the, the the search bar, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm pretty sure I googled it, so I don't know if Bing will work. Mm, uh, Go to the images. Wait, it's still responding. My computer's slow, man. Oh, my God. All right. Sorry, this will be another hour of waiting, ladies and Listen. gentlemen. While he's doing that, let me talk about our sponsors. Yes, we're sponsored by ourselves. Go over to Patreon.com if you like our banter. If you like our stupidness, you can give us a dollar Why for it. Why is this taking so Thank long? you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. Uh, we go live every Friday on all YouTube and podcast services. Give us a buck for your exclusives. Five bucks to get it early. Help us support Alex getting a new laptop because 
Do you Just see how long it's taking him? I don't understand Maybe because it's poor man. Okay, and also we're having trouble editing things because like our laptops kind of suck. Mine's really good, but it's I, I can't, I can't right. get the Google Premiere to, use my to work, phone. so it's really weird. Since I have a Google Alex phone, Alex anyway. is still not being able to load this, so this is really awkward now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can tell that I wasn't joking when he had an ancient laptop that was about to implode one day. Um, oh, if you remember last this week, this is so weird. <laughs> Did you find it? There's like multiple ones. Which one do I pick? There's, there's a bunch of them because, you know, there's Alex one is a common smoking. name. Whoa. What's he smoking, Alex? Uh, sausage? Oh, he's not smoking. Ew. I don't even know what this is. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold don't on. show I, the audience. This one looks kind of cool. It looks like a, a, a like an emo static shock. It's it. Some person made that on Alex the Hedgehog. When Alex was a boy, his family was killed oh. by a, ra- a roving gang of snake men people. <laughs> it didn't even spell people right. <laughs> Who shot fire from their fangs? Wh- what? <laughs> Moving on. There's a chili one. Moving fire on. chili. What? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> this is weird, guys. Well, do why it. Why was he brown? Uh, I guess he was chili. Okay. Also, I forgot to mention there will be a trial weekend for pre- Predator Hunting Grounds for uh, March for 27th that. to 29th. Yeah, you, you guys get to try it for free as long as you have plays oh, on Plus. So excited for that. So that's cool. You get to play it for free. Um, I'm definitely playing it, and I want to be Predator. Mm. It's, I wonder how. We're, can you play together in Marines? Do you think? Uh, I don't know. I would hope so. Oh yeah, I would hope. Wait, yeah, uh, yeah. I would just no, uh, no, no. I mean, know, can you? Because wait, wait, wait. I assume you won't be able to be the predator if you are grouped up with someone. Because if one of you become the predator, you could like work against the other people. It'd be like cheating, right? Uh, no, no. Because I mean, remember we used to play. We never played Friday the Thirteenth together, did we? How does this work? Not because I, no, I'm, you well, can play no. together with people on Friday I guess the Thirteenth, but guess you couldn't be Jason, right? Because you had to be private match. I don't. I don't remember. think. I'm pretty sure. And leave a comment, tweet at us or something. I'm pretty sure you couldn't play with other people on Friday the Thirteenth. Pretty sure, because mm. you could finagle it and be yeah. one of you be Jason. And you could cheat. Yeah. So the only thing I remember, and it has like completely is completely different. But in Call of Duty Ghosts, <laughs> okay, um, I this there was a, well, there was a Michael Myers little thing, yeah. And I could have swore that if one of us was Michael Myers and the other person was like was the ones hiding, I can just tell you where everybody was. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know if that makes it similar, but it, mm. I mean, I let you then, but that's Call know. of Duty, so I'm mm, not sure. And it's years ago. I don't know. Tweet at us, Alex. Yes. We're nearing the end of the show. Yes, we this are. is where we talk about what we're going to play. Yes. Is there anything coming out soon? No. Mm. We're still in the end of February. We don't have much to play. We still need to play Dark Siders Genesis. Oh yeah. We I promised forgot. the audience. We I forgot we got that. that. I completely forgot we got that. We should we try it. Play. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I want. I still want to go back to Kingdom Hearts. Of course. Are you? Uh, how far are you again? In the first one. Because you're, you, I'm you at can the final. The game, I'm, right? I'm at the final rest. That's right. I, and, but I stopped, and I'm trying to get to Ultima. level. Yeah, I'm trying to how get f- everything now. How far are you in Ultima? Oh, Nothing. So you know how the first list of synth. So it's like twelve. Ten. It's twelve. 12. Yeah. 12. I haven't even passed that. I yeah. have seven. And it's annoying because I keep trying to get certain items, and they I just. If it makes you feel better, once you get that second list. You'll have a, Most you'll of the have stuff. the items already. Yeah. So like that, because I was having the same issue. It would, it took me forever to get past that first list. Yeah. But once that second list comes, boom, boom, yeah, boom. Yeah, because boom. it's telling me to get like these certain items, and I'm like, it's telling me to get these items for like a ridiculous, like, enemy, and I'm like, why is the enemy so hard? I thought these were easy, like, because you would think the first part of the list was easy, and then it gets harder. This one's just like pl- plainly just hard. For example, the XP ring. I'm, I'm like, I t- there's no way I'm getting that anytime soon. And now well, I was able to get it. I think. I guess. Yeah, I was able to get it. Now, do I have to do all twelve to get the second set of list? Or yes, oh, man. you have to hit twelve. You get the second list, uh, and then you. Yeah, I know. I but, thought I would hit like maybe like ten, and then it would just unlock the next. Actually, one. now that you mention that, I think it is like ten. Is it? I'm pretty like, sure. I want to get all of them right now. I mean, I want to get a higher power, and then I can get Stopka. 
and then I can get, and then I can kill the pink agaricus thing to get the, seren- the serenity power. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, if people You're know what 60, Kingdom Hearts right? is, you'll understand what I mean. Yeah, we're probably boring a lot of people. Thank you for listening. I'm sorry if we just clocked you out there for a second, yeah. but we need to have a special Kingdom Hearts podcast for our Kingdom Hearts fans. Out there. Oh yeah, for sure. We need to. We'll put that on the schedule for you guys because yeah. I I just want to talk about Kingdom Hearts. Oh yeah, for, for sure. God knows how long. Um. Yeah, the the pink Aragus, you definitely need stop good to get high. You do have a chance of getting it on level 40. You just have to basically walk up on him, touch him with your chest. Mm. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Araga, yep. Stopra, Ragnarok. And yep. then just keep bringing it. And you'll hit over 40, and then yep. you hit at least 40, and then you sh- you have the chance of yeah, getting because, it hard. Yeah, because the thing also appears in Deep Jungle, and it also appears in Little Mermaid. It's so I didn't deep jungle. I feel it is harder in deep jungle. Even easier. Oh, because I was about to say, you know, way it's easier. easier in deep jungle. Yeah, way yeah. easier. I um, I did exclusively in deep jungle. I did not go anywhere else. Yeah, no, that's what I was doing. Mm-hmm. I still haven't gotten a counter plus though. You'll get that when you uh, turn in fifteen items. Um. Yep. Okay. Fifteen items is you'll be like, oh, you're doing really good. Here you go, and you'll get encounter plus, and it's one AP. It is wow. phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal. I, I want that. It, is, it, it will help so much. That It sucks that they gave it to you then because I yeah. would prefer you to make like three or four. Then mm. they give it to you to really encourage you to do it. Yeah. Not like wait till halfway. Um, but to finish up with Kingdom Hearts 1, super good. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I, my favorite part is getting 99 or technically mm. 100. And yeah. just mow yeah, it's weird. Down. It's a not. It's not. It's a hundred. It's a hundred uh, in this one, and it's yeah. the only one that's a hundred. I'm pretty sure. It's weird. Everything else is ninety nine. That's why Chain of memories me- is ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Two is yeah. Everything else is ninety nine. Yeah, when you sent me a picture, you were a hundred. I'm like, that's weird. That's weird. Yeah. The only game. I forgot about that. The only game. Two. I can't wait. He's knocking on the door, Alice. That I think I'm. I think I'm letting him in. Alice. That I thought about doing that tonight, like finishing just one and then starting two, and then I'll work my way back, back and forth, because I'm just can't wait to go back to two mm-hmm. all them forms we just gotta get past Proxes. the six hour tutorial twilight uh, town why hainer pence oh that, that. Uh, on that note ladies and gentlemen <laughs> thank you so much for listening to your easy achievers gaming podcast for the week of february 26 2020 if you like that, head over to patreon.com slash ggchievers. Give us at least a buck that helps us out a lot. That keeps us uh, with the mics on, the lights on, and Alex's dogs fed. That um, is very important to him. Yes, it is. Um, cause Currently, they're not in the room, so I couldn't show them off today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now that we're video, we need yeah. to show the puppies because they hear them all the time. All so the they're time. just like, what are these dogs? Yeah, even what are they not doing? in here. She, he's probably in the living room. Monkey. 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 I'm going to name my next dog. Monkey. Monkey. Loki. It's like Loki and Mickey. <laughs> I'm oh sorry. My hold God, on. hold on. Okay, Mickey. We need to like show Mickey off because like Mickey is a sight to behold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that thing and just like have the dog bed right here, and he'll just lay right here. And like if I, and I accidentally touch him, he'll go gar. He'll go gutter and fall off, <laughs> break his ankles. Yeah, bro. his shin. Do dogs I mean, have shins? Tweet at me. Yes. Do dog captions? I think so. I don't think so. It's just that they're, they're hind legs. It's just that their legs are like you know instead are of front legs. They're, they're well. It's they're instead of their their legs are like this instead of like this. Yeah. So they 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 bend this way, and it's weird. Like their hind legs. Well, that's their hind legs. Yeah. Yeah, I know their hind legs. And so they bend. can propel you themselves. Yeah, it's just it's just so weird. I wish I could do that. Turians. Huh? Turians have. Yeah. Yeah. Legs. yeah. Remember that? I you Mass lost me for a second. Yeah. I was gonna I, say you were like. <laughs> you're like yeah they do i guess <laughs> yeah well you said turians and i was like is that a real animal and i was like wait a minute turians from mass effect C- nope krogans didn't no turians i believe they were the only um, there were birds what there were birds who each krogans yeah each species no, no, no they no, were like a no, frog no, turians turians oh turians yeah yeah the, i'm pretty sure they're f- the krogans are frogs Interesting. each one was based off of something so the makes turians sense. were birds makes krogans sense. were frogs i believe Sorry, we're we're going off now. We're on a tangent. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, go achieve.